Hi, how are you, everybody? Good, thank you, mate. Good. So I love the show. The show is, it's fantastic. Like, I, no spoilers for me. I'm only like four episodes in. But like in the last two episodes, it's gone from like, oh, this is pretty good to like, this is this is really f- good. So I'm excited to finish it. So uh, first off, um, do you guys remember the first video game experience that you ever had that completely blew you away? Prince of Persia on on. Yeah, Prince of Persia on Packard, on a, my dad's Packard Bell. No hesitation. Wow. Yeah, yeah, epic. Uh, and it blew my mind. I spent many an hour dodging the spikes and the loose tiles to, to find that horrible final boss. Yeah. Shout out Packard Bell. Shout out Packard <laughs> Bell. I had a really recent experience, actually, of a new VR place in London. And it was, it's one of those pods where you can go into and, like, the whole pod kind of, like, shakes and, mm. like, blows wind at you when you're inside the headset, bum, bum, bum. So you can go with friends and, and meet each other inside the virtual like lobby and then go on some adventure together. It was wild. It was actually getting like you know, pretty close to what we were doing in the, the games, but just two senses. Yeah. Model five. Well, growing up, growing up and, and still now really, I, I, there's, only, there's only a very thin band of video games that I've ever been really into. It used to be just FIFA and uh, James Bond games, yeah. and now, yeah. it's, now it's just FIFA. Did, did you play GoldenEye? GoldenEye on yeah. the... Oh, oh. Gold, GoldenEye. It's GoldenEye on N64, on N64 isn't it? On N64, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I knew it, that, I knew it. That, that, that was it, really. The, the multiplayer level of that game, when you're walking around these, these sets with your gun and you just see the tiny little flash of somebody in like, the corner of your eye. Like, it just, just the, the fear that comes, the excitement. Yeah. Yeah. It's really a, a, like a real thing in the moment of death where the blood trickles yeah. down. Like, yeah, yeah. There's the something blood, about that yeah. that's just, it's like your soul leaves your body when it feels like death when that happens. And, Are you and, still here with us? Huh? Are you still here with us? I'm still here, yeah. Okay. He made it through. You yeah. made it. We made it through. But, but, but yeah, I remember that being huge for me when I was growing up. Yeah. If you you should try the new Hitman games. And they're making a new James Bond game, actually, if you oh, yeah? like the old games. Yeah, they, they're a lot of fun. But anyways, we're not here to talk completely about video games. <laughs> uh, now, John, what do you think we're going to see first? Like, indisputable evidence that aliens exist or a reunion between Jon Snow and Samuel Tarly? Ooh. <laughs> The, well, That's a good question. The, yeah. well, the well, one of those things is is more in my own hands uh, than the other, I should say. But uh, but I it, it depends what you want more. What would what would what would you prefer? I am at your yeah. service. What would you prefer? <laughs> I want the Jon Snow Sam Tarly reunion. I mean, that's what I want, but that's just me. Yeah, I think. Well, I think. I think you know, Im- impossible. One thing can't be any more impossible than anything else. It's either <laughs> impossible or it isn't. Or it's po- the, the sort of link between the distance between possible and impossible is massive. But you're both I, I, I don't know if we're ready for the concrete alien evidence. So that's that's kind of where I'm leaning towards. Let's let's have the reunion. All right, then let's do it. Yeah, it's done. <laughs> now, uh, Three Body Problem has so many complex sci-fi themes and concepts. Uh, what was the most fascinating thing that you guys learned working on the show? Well, I, yeah, I, I, I was, I'm quite taken with the, the dark forest theory. Um, you, you know, the, the, taking the fact that it's very improbable, there isn't life elsewhere, and... and uh, how have we not seen it? And the dark forest theory that's sort of in the second book, um, which I read because, of course, a lot of it's shot in and out of sequence and stuff, um, has not just stuck with me, but <laughs> occasionally still keeps me up <laughs> at night. <laughs> that's a good answer. What about you guys? Anything else? You learn a lot more. I, than I, I do love the idea of, um, I think it's, 10 dimensions plus time the that beyond even the the micro scale of an atom there are even more dimensions that we can't we don't have the tools to measure yet but the idea is that um you know how they say there's like space and it's only energy or vibrations that kind of keeps all our molecules together so i'm technically not solid I love that idea that we are actually made up of <laughs> empty space. Well, yeah, Earth me is, neither. We're all kind of just a soup. We're all just kind of floating around yeah. and held together with Soupy like little some sort of vibrational energy. 
Yeah, it's it's all mind blowing. It's it's crazy and and uh, yeah, it keeps me up at night. Definitely, guys. I'm out of time, and I know you have a million people to talk to today. I don't want to take up any more of your time, but thank you so much. Pleasure and I love the show. Day. I can't wait to finish it. Thank, thank you, you, you so much. Thank you. Nice to meet you, guys. The show is fantastic. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me. Thank, thank you. you. So I'm only four episodes in, so that so no spoilers from me. I, I do got to say I'm I'm kind of jealous of Augie because I wish I had my own internal. Say what? Anxiety? No, 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 no. I'm just jealous because I like I wish I had my own internal doomsday clock that would sort of just count down when I was making terrible decisions. Oh, <laughs> by the way, great point. I wish I had that, too. I would have had it so many times if that existed. I'd be having that clock every four days. Like I'm making bad decision after bad decision in my personal all the time. Life. I'd be like, oh, OK, my doomsday clock just appeared. I got it. I'm going to stop doing this. <laughs> That oh. would be a great like add on to humanity. We should just ask, you know, our creator to give that to us next, next, next go around. new generation. Yeah. Next go round. <laughs> or I mean, maybe this go round. We just use this is what we use AI for. Right now. We'll just have them do the doomsday clock for all of us. Yeah, and it'll no tell AI. us when we're making ooh, 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 ooh. terrible. De- don't do that. Uh, don't eat that cheesecake. It's no. Nay. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, one thing I love about three body problem is it, it, it's almost like it's like sci fi philosophy. Right. So it, it's exploring questions about our existence in the universe. What philosophical questions did the show raise for both of you? I think it's uh, it was a conversation about uh, about uh, human instinct yeah, and about uh, uh, morality, uh, what's what's right, what's wrong and, and how we justify the decisions that we make. Um yeah, I think there was a lot of themes explored, but those were some that show themselves in quite a few episodes. In this yeah. season. What about you, Aza? Same thing? Same, yeah. It's at the end of the day, you're also experiencing it differently. You know, I always try to remind this because as an audience member, we are audience members ourselves, but as an audience member, is completely different to a creative uh, approach. You're sort of so immersed in the experience that you're not having time to sort of um, create that space to kind of question reality or whatnot. I think you're just sort of like on the journey of the character. I think that that happens to me afterwards when I watch. And I actually sometimes, we get forced here into doing table reads and we did them, but I kind of like to skip through stuff sometimes and not in like the selfish actor way like me, me, but more about like, I like to watch things and be surprised. Like I most of the time don't even read the end of certain scripts. Mm because I like to not know until I watch it. It's a very strange approach, but to that being said, I, that happened to me after I watched the show, I was like, oh, wait, wait a second, holy this, that. And I started thinking because I, all the pieces were put together and I was able to watch, watch it in a streamline, you know? Yeah. No, I I totally get it. I feel the same way about like trailers on a smaller scale. You know, I, I prefer not to watch trailers at all. I like, like all I need to know is, is this something that I'm interested in? Does it have actors I like? I'm in, you know, that's all, that's all I want to know. Um, now Aza, what do you think we're going to see first? Indisputable proof that aliens exist or you in a Marvel or DC film? Mm. (laughs) Um, I think Definitely alien proved. I don't see it happening. I mean, it's like my opportunity has been there and it's not happened for me. So I think it's just not in the cards for Aza Gonzalez, which is okay. I'm, I'm okay with it, actually. I think that when I was younger, I was like, it really excited me. And obviously, like, at this point, it's been so many years. I was so excited when I was like camera testing for the Batman and that whole process was like shocking. And I couldn't believe it because I was especially such a huge fan of Catwoman. And in that moment, I was like, you know, distraught that I didn't get it. But then I watched it and I was like, wow, I just like loved it. I loved her. I loved the role. I loved Zoe in it. I just was so obsessed with what Matt had created. Mm. And now I'm just like, it's just nice to see people for the right role, getting cast in the right role. And I just like like to watch it as an audience member. I'm not like as passionate as like, I want to be in those worlds anymore as like, I would love to if the opportunity happened. But, you know, I'm I'm just a geek, like in the sense that I like to watch it. And it, it I don't have like a personal like, it, oh, I didn't get it. So I don't watch it. You know, like I don't care about that anymore at all. No, I think that's the best approach to it. Uh, Guys, I'm out of time and I know you have a million people to talk to, but thank you so much for taking the time. I really appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day. Thank Thank you. you.
Hi, guys. It's so Hi, nice Chris. to meet both of you. The The show is, God, it's fantastic. I love it so much. So thank you thank very you. much for your time. Thank, thank you, you, Chris. So now Three Body Problem, what I love about it, it it's really like sci-fi philosophy, right? And it, it explores all these questions about our existence in the universe. So what philosophical questions did the show raise for each of you? and Or, or which theory did the show present that you personally found the most fascinating? In terms of science fiction, I would say um, the limitation of human brains and we have to, how we have to deal with it and be humble. And in terms of the entire story, yeah, did no, I? Going. And in terms of the story, because I believe that three body problem is beyond science fiction. And that I thought the philosophical question behind that is how much does right or wrong truly matter to survive? Yeah, I resonate with that a lot because I deal with the limitations of my brain every day. So <laughs> me too. Don't we all? <laughs> <laughs> now, now, what about you, Rosalind? Um, for me, I Honestly, the idea of time being fluid um, and elastic is um, uh, mind blowing for me. Um, and what was the other question? Just, just, I mean, it's sort of the same question, which is just what was the most fascinating uh, to you as far as what you learned on the show, as far as like these scientific theories, because there's there's several of them that the show presents. So, yes. I, so you answered it. It's okay. Yeah, um, and also the fact that it wasn't just science. The fact that you know it shows um, the extent of love and what you're willing to do for love and the mistakes we make in love. Uh, as well, and how that can create a ripple effect. Um, I love yeah. that. That's great. Now, you both portray the same character at different ages. You know, how did you work together to ensure continuity with the character? We work separately. I throw, well, together we complete a beautiful arc, but it, it was really, I throw the balls to uh, Rosalind and she catches all of them and do a beautifully uh, powerful being in the end. We didn't meet beforehand. She, uh, Zine filmed her segment before I came in mm. and um, I had all her footage. So she laid the groundwork and then, um, you know, built the foundations of the home and then I came in and maybe, you know, continued the building. Oh, that's and amazing. <laughs> now, just for fun, uh, do either of you remember the first video game experience you ever had that completely blew you away? I have a confession. <laughs> no, don't say it. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I... I've never, I don't do video games, but my husband's a video game. Oh no, I was in a video game um, for Activision. I think I was in one of their first video games. Um, but other than that, I don't do them at all. My husband does voices to a lot of the big video game characters and don't ask me what they are because I don't even know. I'm so outside that world. So I... I'm a nerd who doesn't participate in all the nerd activities. That that look, that's fair. I totally understand. I'm the same way with anime. I get it. What about you, Zine? <laughs> what do you call the game Zombie and the Plants? They fighting together. Um, Zombie and the Plants fighting together. The, the uh, zombies got uh, 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 and the, the Last of Us is it, are we, do do. Would you call that? Is it like Pac-Man? It sounds like Pac-Man. It might have been just zombies versus, uh, or it was aliens versus, I, I don't remember. I think I know what you're talking about, but I don't yeah. remember the title of, of the game. Yeah, that that blew me away. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. Oh, that that's does, awesome. Well, guys, does I'm, words with friends count as a um, video word, game? Words with friends counts as a video game. Yeah, I love me some Scrabble. I get it. Um, okay, guys. Yeah. I'm out of time. So thank you so much for everything. Thank I really you. love the thank show you. and I can't wait to finish it. Thank you very much. Oh, good. Oh, you haven't finished. No, I'm four episodes in. I can't, I can't oh wait. Oh my so. God. 
You've got so much fun ahead of you. Enjoy. I can't wait.